there again folks it's handmade by Shirley welcome back to my channel um I've got this um gummy pan number 80 stencil which I'm not sure what the pattern's called but it's a kind of to me it's kind of retro so I've just popped it I'm just going to stencil through it with some oxide distress oxide inks I did one earlier and I was quite chuffed with it so I thought I'd do another one to show you how I did that and then pop it onto the front of a card. So this part here is kind of sticking up. So when I'm I'm blending, I've got to watch. I don't move it because it's it's quite delicate there. So so I'm just going to pop. I've got a piece of linen card underneath, and I just pop that on. So I can just lift it up and have a look if I want to. And I'm just going to do, I've got a couple, I've got a card base already um, ready. It's a linen a silk and weave card base from Sintego and it's three by six and a quarter. And there's a layer I've got as well um, because I'm using um, mustard seed cracked pistachio and forest moss and I thought these are probably quite good masculine type cards as well um, so the layer is two and three quarters by um, six and a quarter is it that can't be right six six I think and the base, as I said, the base, what was the base? Three by six and a half. Oh, so it is six and a quarter. So this is six and a quarter by two and three quarters. That's fine. And I've also got one of the little um, Julie Hickey quotes as well, which I thought would just pop on. So all I did was I just created a little background using some of the colours that I like and I just, as I said, be very careful at this bit because it does tend to move. So just randomly kind of going over all the bits of, not all the bits, but randomly with the colour going over certain bits of the stencil. that bit because oh, see it kind of moves so just finding a way to a direction to kind of pull the brush is good um, you will find that out when you, if you use this right so I've now got forest moss which I would like to use so I'm going to use it on this piece so I'm going to just be very careful here Just going over a wee bit there, and pulling it out towards the the side, and then bringing this round because I don't want that to move. Just leaving that bit there, and I'm going to go down here. So it's just random bits I'm doing. I'm not doing it in any particular way. It's just random bits and pieces it does, it's a nice stencil I think it's quite a nice stencil and there's probably lots more you could do with it which I um, will hope to discover that at some point but I just thought I'd come on and use it as is for now <coughs> excuse me so I want to pop some here so I'm going to hold that piece again Hold it slightly further around. And bring this one out. So, you know, if you did use this, you could use any colours you wanted. Any, you could use more than three colours. I just 
was using three because that's what I used. <laughs> but you know, you could use four, you could use five, you could use any amount you wanted, really. I mean, I might pop another colour on, I'm thinking. I could have another colour. Let's see, something that's really... <coughs> excuse me. That's um, something completely different. What about crack Crackling Campfire? Let's just get a brush for that one. And then that could be a bit extra. That colour. Just... In there. And just put a wee bit there as well. And then that's all I'm going to do really. I said it was just a simple background really. I'm just doing it with some ink. I dare say, as I say, that as I'm sure as time goes on, I'll do something else with it. So then I can just lift it up. But I see that this bit's a bit. So that's what happens. If we can show you. This is what happens if this part moves. So it's a bit like that there. So it's a bit hard. So it is quite difficult. So. To, to, to keep it from smudging but I mean that could add you could easily cover that um, so what we'll do is now I suppose what you could do with this as well is you could spritz it just as another idea we need to get a bit of paper here we go so you could spritz this with your spritzer some water like that, give that a wee spritz and then you could put your piece of paper on top I'm sorry I might have camera shot a bit there so all I did was spritz it and then it gave me that pattern and then that's another backing that you could use for a card as well so I'll we'll just pop that there so let me just wipe this away. So that's made a different backing as well. Let's just give it a wee blast with the heat too. Oh, it's because I've cut my nails again for my guitaring. Oh well. I actually like this one. I actually like this background better than I can like the actual um, one I did through the stencil. Maybe using this one instead. You know, things often change when we're doing techniques. We'd often use this for something else as well. But that's just another technique you can do for your stencil as well. You can spritz it a bit and then pop a bit of paper on top and then you get this nice background. So I think I'll just use the one that I did initially, but that is another idea which is really effective as well. Pop that over. So we're just going to use this one. So I'm going to cut it to the size of the card. I'm just going to cut that down. So we need it to be, so this piece was three by, what we said six and a bit. So if we just make it just under three. Chop that bit off because it's a bit messy too. Now let's see if this is going to fit onto that. Just chop it a little bit more. And then we need 
to just make sure that it's going to fit on the bottom so it's going to come to about just that nail, my nail, I've just put my nail in where roughly it's going to come to like so and that just gives it a nice border over the back and then that will sit onto there so let's just get the happy birthday and I think I might just pop it over there to kind of hide that because it's a bit messy or it could go this way and that could go like that as well but I'm liking this this way so I'm going to just pop that on with some glue when I find it so this green piece was just um card from I think the craft stash I cannot remember what kind what make it was or in I think it could have been craft stash's own make and it was just um various colours um, so if you're wanting this particular paper that's where you'll find it um, oops, bitter and I'm trying to think what I could do with the other piece of card or the other background that I've made so I'm going to put this on top here like that and slightly that's better and then I'm just going to pop that over there and that kind of hides that bit that's smudged a little bit because it moves And these could easily be masculine type cards. I don't tend to make an awful lot of masculine cards, but I mean, I think that's that's good for a guy. I'm sure they'd like it. Even a, a girl would like that, I'm sure. So that's my first card. Pop this off a wee. All right, and this just now, that's my first one. So what I'm thinking, I would do with this is possibly rip it so I'm going to rip it and see if I can make kind of maybe a kind of mixed media type thing with this so I'll get rid of these and I'll kind of rip it there as well it doesn't have to be and I want to just kind of rip it in a bit and I'll colour these edges because I don't want them to be completely white like that so we've ripped it up and I'm going to just rip a bit more off there and I can kind of rip this bit as well a little bit and fold it over so it's a kind of corner like that and then I might do the same here. So that's fine. And then I'm going to get a piece of the card. Um, so that's that. So I'm going to have to um, just decide what I'm going to do with this. Right, I'm going to move this because it's going to get it's going to get ink everywhere. If I do, I'll move these because these are going to get my card all ink. So if I make it five inches by, let me think, by, let's see before I cut it. It would be quite a big card if I use that big. I suppose I could do five by seven. Let's just cut it first to the five. Seven. I can always cut it down if it's if I feel it's too big or I'm not happy. 
So we've got five by seven base. Let's pop this over here just now. And right, where is it? So it's here. So we could could make it a bit smaller. I'll just just see. I'm not sure. I'm trying to decide if I even had it that way. No, I'll just go for this. So I'm just going to ink up a bit round the edges because it's quite, I feel it's quite sparse. So I've got some, I'm going to get some, I'm going to wipe this off a bit. I don't want it to be that dark. Wipe it off here as well getting rid of some of the ink that's on this brush because I want to use the brush before I want to put some walnut steep ink so there's quite a lot of ink on that still so I'm going to keep just rubbing that back and I can use that on my projects for something or I can chuck it in the bin, whatever, it doesn't matter. So that's more or less off. So I want to use it. This walnut stain is the ink, so this will probably just sit on the top because that's what the ink tends to do. Now, if I can find my piece of, it's not that one, mm -hmm. a bit of acetate. And it's just for inking. Here we go. I found it. I have found it. Right, so I'm just coming in. I'm just going around the edges just so that the edges aren't white because I don't really want them to be white. I want to, you know, have a bit of colour on it. I don't know if people like this or not, but this is what I'm doing. So, so let's just see that against that white card, which is quite nice. Ooh. Put that away for now. We may need to cut this. And now, what else could I do? So I've also got this nice gummy a pan stamp that I used earlier. I think I showed it on my unboxing. So I used this earlier on a little card that I made. So I made this earlier and I thought it looked quite nice. So I'll just pop that back up there and I'm going to use it again. But I'm going to use it on round here, not on this piece. And I'm going to use the Distressed Ink walnut stain again and I might use one the crackling campfire so all I did was I didn't put it onto a block I just popped it on with my hands like so into the ink and then I just I don't even know if I've got it upside down or whether it matters oh it does kind of matter well, we'll see. I might have it upside down for all you know. No, I think it's the right way round. So I'm just looking. I think I want to just do that again. I'm not re-inking it. I'm just going in again with it with the ink that I had on it. Like that. And that's a wee bit lighter, but that's okay. That's fine. It has got a wee bit of half, but if I'm chopping it. And then I might go in with the camp, crackling campfire as well. Just, it's quite juicy that one though. So, we don't need too much on it. So, I might just go over that. I've only done half of it. So, I might just do that piece. And that's fine. And then I'll get a wee bit onto the other side. Now, I'm just playing with this. I'm just making this up as a kind of go along I, I don't I'm not uh, professing to know what I'm absolutely doing but it's just playing and if it looks good well why not and now that is quite wet but I'm going to be covering it 
a bit and I think I'm just going to come down here with a little bit as well over here and if I'm out of camera shot I'm sorry I'll get into it so pop this back over here and I will fix that I'm going to dry this because that's quite wet So I'm just going to pop that on just now. That is wet. I can see it's wet. And just pop that on there just now. Just like that. Bring that back again. I'm bringing that on back. Let's just pop a wee bit of on there. I don't know what people are thinking of that. They're thinking, oh, that's not great, but that's what I'm doing. <laughs> now, I've got a box of um, things that I like to use. There's wee bits that are cut out, so I'm seeing if I've got anything that I could use on this that isn't I mean, I've got some flowers that I've had for a wee while. I don't know what that would look like. Um, square. Looks a little bit of a. They're not gummy up, and they were. Um, I can't remember. They're from a stash. They're really. Not sure what they are, but yeah. they're there. I've got this white kind of half. I wonder if I could stuck this down now, haven't I? Let's see if I can lift it. No, I don't think that's going to work, is it? Just thinking I could have popped that in there. Let's try that. So I'm just quickly making up some kind of wee mixed media thing with this background. We're probably going to have to cut some um, dies because I've not got, I've probably used quite a few of them actually recently. So that, this is a, I don't know what dye that is, it's definitely not gummy a pan. It's one that I've used for wedding type cards because it's in paralysed kind of stuff. So, card, not stuff. <laughs> um, let's see what else I've got. Um, not as many things as I had. I thought. I've got a couple of these. I had this the last time as well. Um, maybe not them. Let me see what I could use from the dyes that I've got. Um, Um, bear with, bear with me, I'll look at this um, again, this box of mystery. Not sure there's anything in there that I could use. I'll be back, I'll be back in a minute, two minutes. So I've cut out the bee. Take this away. Um, so this is the gummy pan, gummy a pan bee and the gummy a pan honeycomb. So I've cut them out and I've tried to keep the honeycomb in a bit. So I'm just going to go over that slightly with a little bit of 
the crackling campfire that was on my brush, not hugely, but just a bit, just to create a wee bit of colour. It's going to fall out, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to pop this down on here and hope it sticks somehow. I'll pop that. I know I'm kind of covering up my it's coming out now. I don't want them to come out, but I'll just let them come out a bit, I think. So just I think end up over there because I'm going to put the bee on as well. I actually could take some of these out, couldn't I? Because then that would show the rest of the design underneath. Take some of these out. Bad idea. Right, we'll just leave it like that and then we're just going to pop the bee on on some foam pads and then I'll be finished. I hope it's not too OTT <laughs> for your liking. Just get these scissors, chop this off, and then I'll be done. Um, I might have to actually, I think I'm going to have to cut these but I might have to cut the card a bit as well so I just go into my playing mode and I just should actually be showing you what I've done <laughs> but then I went into my playing mode didn't I and this needs chopped off because it's showing I don't want that to show so we're just gonna put that oh, just like that there and I'll just put that on as well, just on there. Um there we go. And actually I'm going to chop it. What did you do with the thing? I'm gonna chop this up just so that it's not so big. See, I don't know if I'm going to put anything on it. Let me see. Will I put anything on it? Just trying to see the two cards there. Let's see. Let's see if I've got anything to put on it. That's actually. Let's try these ones again. I haven't used these for a while. Let's see. Um, what about this? Oh, down here. Where would it work? Let's see where it would work. I need to cut it because it's quite long, isn't it? Your smile could be one piece. And um, let's, let's do it. Your smile. Makes life more beautiful. We could have makes life more beautiful. Could be the last. Oh, no, let's just pop that there. Hopefully that's straightish. And then my last piece, I'll probably have to stick them down again. There you go. So the um, lovely stencil number 80, which is the main theme of this. Um, so these are two ideas with that stencil. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. And if you have, let me know what you thought in the comments, which card you preferred, whether you like number one or number two. Uh, and... Um, Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Um, I do come on as much as I can with regular videos. Um, and it would be delighted to have you here um, on my channel. So, be back soon. Bye for now.